In 2010, I went to Montezuma, Costa Rica, and spent three amazing months at the Mariposario Montezuma Gardens, the Pacific monsoon forest of the Nicoya Peninsula, with its rugged hills and roaring rivers, offered stunning opportunities for exploration and discovery. It was a fine place to leave worries behind, to shave your head, to eat some flowers, and to look for critters. The rotten wood in the forest is rich with tiny life. These mites, adults and juveniles, scuttle for cover on the underside of a piece of bark. Their larger cousins, the ticks, also frequent the establishment and commonly attach themselves to dogs. Alright, we found a uh, tick on the floor of our hacienda. And fortunately, just a few decimeters away, there's army ants, a lot of them, so we're going to introduce them, tick, army ants. So no, the ants are not interested at all in that tick. Ticks spread disease and need to be destroyed, but they're also incredibly tough. So Joshua, what are you doing? Well, I'm actually doing a, a first aid triage on my dog who just got into a fight with a Rottweiler, but while I was at it, I figured I might as well go on tick patrol, and it looks like we've got some chupa sangre right here. On the dog? On the dog itself. Voila. Oh. Oh, they're starting to escape. That's, that's, a, a, that's a different one. Uh, that's a male. That's a male? Yeah. Okay, Summer, what do we do to ticks? Do we smash them like this? Can you show me? Okay. And then stop. She's kind of dead. Ooh. All right. Well, here, try one of the oh, big that's ones. That's a big one. That's going to get blood everywhere. Oh. Don't do that. So yeah. Oh, stop. wait. Summer, let's go do that somewhere else. Yeah. You want the big one? Yeah. Okay. Here he comes. There he is. Squish yeah. him. Squish him. Squish him. Squish him nice and hard. We want it to be an X tick. Go. There it goes. Yeah, there you go. Dog blood. Ready to do another one? Yeah. Okay. This is a funnel web tarantula, family Dipluridae, so named for its greatly extended posterolateral spinnerets. They are extremely common on the Nicoya Peninsula, living in silk-filled crevices and trapping passers-by. They are harmless to humans. A male Acanthoscuria pays us a visit. This is a true tarantula, family Theraphosidae. Like most spiders, it is benign and non-aggressive. Its abdomen is covered with urticating hairs. You want to be in the picture? Yeah. Okay, uh, let me think. Okay, ready? Yeah. I want that frog. Can I pick that up? What? Can I pick that frog up? You can try. Okay. Just be real gentle with him. Hey! Please, can you can get it, please? Oh, I can't get him. Living at a butterfly garden makes the order Lepidoptera especially accessible. Guests and residents learn the ins and outs of rearing, growth, metamorphosis, and courtly pastimes. Here are a few of the younger generation.
I'm in the waterfall jungle near Montezuma Gardens in Costa Rica and I've just blundered across an object in the path which is a caterpillar covered with urticating spines which are now stuck in my shin. Future Arlo, do you know which kind of caterpillar this is? Yes, I do, sir. That caterpillar is Automerus iris, also known as the iris-eyed silk moth. It builds a cocoon out of silk and leaves. When it emerges, it looks like this. It belongs to the Saturn moth family. The monsoon climate of the Nicoya Peninsula means that some parts of the year see a lot of rain. This can lead to spectacular outbursts of fungus. A plant hopper nymph from the family Isidae explores a tree trunk. Waxy plumes held erect make the nymph difficult to grab. Like all plant hoppers, the Isid nymph has a straw like mouth for sucking fluids out of stems and leaves. One day we find a strange egg mass on the wall. Not praying mantis, not butterfly. What could it be? All we can do is wait to find out. Esta hermosa niña es un día de edad. Su nombre es María Morfazul y Posa. Ella es una princesa de la tribu Morfini. Y ella vive en el mariposario Montezuma en Costa Rica. Cada día ella duerme en la sombra y por la noche come ensaladas frescas orgánicas justo al lado de Tayo. Su madre por su posa y su padre Manuel Morfazul fueron devorados por las arañas. Cada día, Pequeña María sueña con sus antepasados.
Creeping through leaf litter at night, this scaly beast feeds on decay. It is without appendages or tail, and only has a rudiment of a head. Its skin is densely chagrined with tiny crystalline particles that act as armor. This is a soldier maggot, the immature form of the stratiomyid fly. Eventually it will pupate inside its own leathery skin and emerge as a large black fly. A dead karau tree threatens to fall into the compound. The only solution is to pull it down in the other direction. The rich, sweet sap of the corral draws many insect customers, including this otherworldly scuttler. This is Willistoniella, a fly in the family Ropalomeridae. This family is confined to the New World and little is known about its habits. Please observe the red mite clinging to the back of this fly. A male orchard bee, genus Euglosa, chews the edge of a plant. It may be doing so to release volatile scent molecules that the males gather, presumably as a kind of cologne. <laughs> 